I've just stepped out of my house here for a morning stroll and yes, of course, I'll be taking the boat out later. But for now, it is time for a GarageBand quick jam about the micro phaser effect. So let's go. So the micro phaser effect here in GarageBand iOS is very similar to the flanger, but the effect is slightly more subtle and it uses what's called a low frequency oscillator, which is why you can see we have the LFO rate as one of our options here. We also have feedback and intensity. So let's show you once again how we add the micro phaser effect and then we'll dial in some settings and see what it does to our guitar track here on this particular song. Okay, so here's our guitar track as it is at the moment. Now let's go ahead and add a micro phaser to this guitar. We're gonna tap on our mixer icon there. We're gonna go plugins and EQ, and then we're gonna select the right track and go edit. Now we can go plus and select the micro phaser, which is here just under the flanger. And as I mentioned before, we've got three options here. We've got the LFO rate, the feedback, and the intensity. So let's play this back and I'll dial up the LFO and you'll hear the effect that this has on the sound. So you can hear you get that same sort of out of phase, in phase effect you get with a flanger, but you get a little bit more of a subtle version of it. Let's dial in the feedback now and we'll show you what that does. So you can hear with the feedback turned up, we're getting more feedback, funnily enough, and we're hearing more of the microphasing effect. Now, finally, let's dial up the intensity and see what that will do to our sound. So you can hear when it's hitting the top and the bottom there, you're getting that additional bit of sort of distorted sound, which can be really cool and a good effect to use. So there are three controls for our microphaser. Now, microphaser, like any other plugin, it's not just for guitars, you can use it on any other instrument. So let's just try it on a vocal, just for a bit of fun to see what it's gonna do there. Okay, so here is our vocal sound as it is now. Getting so much pleasure from my suffer. So there we go, and let's add in the micro phaser. And now we'll play it back with its default settings. Uh, getting so much pleasure from myself. And let's dial up some of these uh, options to make it a little bit more intense. Ring. Didn't care what your words were doing to me. So you can hear there that it's not going to sit well for your main vocal the whole way through, but what you may want to do is put this for a particular part as a bit of a sting at the end of a chorus, or just sitting underneath the track as a duplicated track, which we've done in previous videos as well. So there you go, the micro phaser effect here in GarageBand. And there you go, yet another cool guitar-based effect that we can use here in GarageBand on the iPhone or the iPad. Now it's time to pop into the neighbours for a cup of coffee, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around and a super big thank you to those who've already headed over to studiolivetoday.com slash merch and picked up a t-shirt or a mug, including my man Tim, who even picked up two. Thanks everyone for all of your support and I'll see you on the next video.